welcome back to my channel my name is Jordan Louise and if you are new make sure to hit that subscribe button also give it a big thumbs up and also don't forget to turn on the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload if you guessed by the short I am doing a baking video I like to try new things on my channel so I thought I'd give baking a go and I'm basically just going to show you how I did it and the process and all that and <laughs> and the ending also just to put out there that my glasses are basically crooked to the side throughout the video which is annoying because these are broken I am getting new ones but I would have already got them but I can't wait to show you them and I hope you enjoy this so let's just get into the video first we are going to make our homemade buttercream icing and these are the ingredients that have popped up onto the screen I First, we are using seven tablespoons all-purpose flour, which is 70 grams. Next, I am taking my one and a half cups of milk. Um, I used 200 grams instead of 341, as it was a bit too much for me, but I then added the purpose flour and the milk into a big bowl, and I put that on low heat around four, and just whisk those both together until the consistency turns into a thick paste. Once you have finished that, make sure to remove it from the heat and it will cool to room temperature. This is a very key step. If, you, if your mixture is warm, it will melt your butter as well. Once you put the butter in, it will all nicely blend together and it will just end up with a nice runny frosting. If my voice sounds weird throughout the video, that's because I've currently got a cold and it's really annoying. <laughs> but without further ado, um, I'm now taking the vanilla extract and putting a, a tablespoon into the mixture. After I've added the vanilla, I made sure that I whisk it together in the mixture. After I've added the vanilla, I made sure that I whisk it together in the mixture. I've added the yellow food colouring already because I want it to be like a minty yellow. So I used this, which was already in my cupboard. So I put that in when I was whisking at at the hob so I'm just going to leave that set aside to room temperature while the um, mixture is cooling at the side I'm now bringing a saucepan to the hob and I'm putting the butter sugar and salt in together and we are going to put that on to like a medium high heat and we're gonna like probably stir that about for five to six minutes and we want this to be fluffy so and once when you're like mixing all the stuff together make sure that you scrape down the sides and really incorporate the butter and sugar to and sugar to avoid any gritty frosting so just make sure to do that while you're mixing it all together This is what it should look like once you have finished whisking. I did do the rest of camera but I incorporated the butter and sugar into the cool mixture and I basically bring that back to the boil to a medium high heat for 5 more minutes and we're just going to basically beat it until it looks like whipped cream and then that will be the buttercream icing done. Um, I pretty much left it in the fridge to make it a bit more cooled down so it's nice and ready to put on the cupcakes. We are now basically going to move on to the cupcakes. They are super easy and very easy to make. <laughs> so basically first I'm putting the oven to 200 degrees Celsius um, on a fan and next I am basically going to put the butter into the microwave for 10 seconds so it's like slightly melted which would be really good for the mixture. So next I am now taking the mix so I'm baking taking the butter and the sugar and also the eggs and I'm basically going to put that into one, one big bowl and just to stir that all together and also make sure to add the self-raising flour 
Next I'm taking my baking tray and filling it in with cupcake cases and then off camera I filled all the I put all the mixture into the cupcake cases and then I put them in the oven for 20 to 30 minutes. I am now going to attempt to put some sinkles by hand without using my other hand so I'm literally going to put a bit on the side there. I'm literally just going to go like little bits. I don't know why I put some on the side. I'm so dumb. But these are my cakes so far. I have gone a bit creative with the icing. I really like that one there. It looks more like a rose and that one at the back. Be, this one's really cute. Just done. It's kind of a mess, but it will do. Now that the cupcakes are done, it's time to roll on onto the montage. 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 Hope you enjoy. <laughs>